Hi guys, and today we're going to take a look at this Chrome ECR 400. So here you can see the three-point hitch. As we move to the side, you can see the PTO is holded up by a nice little holder. Keeps it up off the ground. The hoses as well do have a holder. As of right now, they're not in it. Also, there's a sticker indicating uh, what functions to go in what remote. So as you can see, there's a red one with a one plus. Here we have a blue two plus. and the blue two minus. A little bit tricky here to try to get them all in there one-handed. But of course they're nicely labeled there with those plastic grips, which helps going into the remotes. Also, this does have the operator's manual holder there on the headstock. As we move to the back, we can see this box for holding knives. So here we have our gauge tool to check and see um, if our spring plates are good and also if our knife bolts are good. Here's a tool to return down a shear hub if for some reason you shear the roll pins. It does come with a few extra roll pins. Uh, one thing to note, as you can see here, the roll pins are opposite of each other. So you have to have a small and a big roll pin opposite of each other. Here you can also see on this box, it gives you the part numbers for the left and right hand knives, which is pretty cool. There's also a sticker right above the box, again, showing you direction of the knives with the part number. Above that, it just talks about um, checking to make sure your spring plate is good and also your knife bolts are good. This unit does have quick change blades. You can see that bar right there on the back is what's used to lower the spring plate and allow you to put the knife in. Just a little caution information. Of course, it's always good to read your manual before you even attempt to use a machine like this. As we move farther to the right, You can see the main pivot point. This is what allows this machine to fold behind instead of straight up. So this makes it easier for transport. 
Above that are the flotation springs. In the center there, you can see the lift cylinder for field operation. Uh, to the left of that, we have our setting for float. So basically, you'd lift it all the way up, and then you can pull that pin, and depending on the pin setting, uh, you can adjust your flotation. And there's your park leg on the left-hand side. So as you can see, the pin is not fully locked. The leg is not all the way resting on the ground. This is because this mower is set up for shipping purposes. Normally that, that leg would be down on the ground. So here is that bar for changing the knives. Basically you just slide it on your disc, pull down, swap the knife out and go. Here's our parallel link arms. So normally, uh, depending on the model, they want to be pretty close to level. If they're not, then this can definitely impact your flotation of the machine. As you can see, it is down on the frame stop. So this cylinder you see here is used to stabilize the mower uh, when you go to raise it up in headland position. As we move far all the way right, we can see um, the safety sign. This is going to be, of course, on the back of the mower when it's folded into the transport position. So this is what of course, the people, the cars, the trucks on the road will see from the back of the machine. Pretty nice little update there. So if we keep moving back towards the headstock. We can now see the relief and the cylinder for uh, moving the machine into transport. So this has two functions, moving the machine into transport. And also if we hit an object in the field, hopefully um, the hydraulic pressure will go over the relief and the mower will swing to the back. Now, of course, it's not a guarantee. Of course, it all depends on conditions. You know, what you hit, how fast you're mowing, all that sort of stuff. But it's a cool feature to hopefully save the mower in the event you do hit something. Here is the light plug for that single light out back there. Pretty basic. Hope you guys enjoyed this basic uh, overview of an ECR 400. Uh, please subscribe and stay tuned for more videos.